Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're gonna do a sirloin tip roast. We're gonna season this up and we're gonna sous vide it and finish it on the grill. So, I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. Um, our local supermarket was actually having uh, a sale on the sirloin tip roast the other day for $2.99 a pound and I got a rather large one this one's close to five pounds so it was about 15 bucks or so but um, it was already pre um, tied up so I didn't have to do anything with it I just took it out of the package and we're going to use some running wild beef rub uh, they're actually their premium gourmet beef rub is what we're going to use I've used this a couple times already it's got a really good flavor to it it's a little bit um, it's got more uh, layers to it than my normal beef rub that I use, which is just salt, pepper, and garlic. So I like to use this every once in a while just to change it up. But um, I'm going to go ahead and season this up, and then we're going to throw it in the uh, bag and put it in the sous vide. We're going to cook this for 48 hours at 134. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and season this up now. And that's it. Like I said, it's already pre-tied uh, up for me to keep it in its shape. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the bag. I got this all vacuumed up and it's seasoned up real nice. <clears throat> I went ahead and double sealed both sides of the bag. Just because when I do longer cooks, I really like to make sure that the bag doesn't come open at all. So this is a pretty thick roast. We're going to do it, like I said, at 134 for 48 hours. Um, it's still going to leave this pretty close to medium rare, right around medium, medium rare, right in between there. All right, guys, there. I'll see you in 48 hours. plans the uh, roast is almost done been in there almost 48 hours but what I'm gonna do I decided I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the pit barrel junior cooker I'm gonna finish it up in there so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started we're gonna try it out and there's the pit barrel junior and if you take a look down in there I got my charcoal already it's in there ready to go so as soon as this gets up and gone and ready to go, we'll get going. All right, I just pulled the roast out of the sous vide and I got my pit barrel cooker going. That's what I'm gonna cook it on today. Um, it's probably gonna take about a good 15 minutes before that's up and uh, the temp's up and running. But since I'm doing that, instead of using that gourmet uh, beef rub from running wild I'm gonna try this pit barrel cooker rub that they sent with the pit barrel and see how it's a it's their beef and game pit rub so I'm gonna use that to season this up today get my tongs out I did when I took it out of the sous vide bag since it's a roast and I want to pick up some smoke on this I'm not searing this today I want to get some smoke in the pit barrel uh, on it I left it moist so I did not dry it off had it dry like I normally would if I um, was going to sear it. Go ahead and throw the roast on now. I got the rack in the uh, pit barrel. So we're going to be using, not hanging it today on the hooks. It's going to be using the rack. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that right in the middle of the rack. I'm going to stick my meat probe in there. I'm going to make sure the meat probe's not touching the top. So I'm going to go ahead and let this... Uh, roll for a little bit and I'll keep an eye on that internal temp make sure it doesn't go any farther past 138 it's been on about or 15 so. minutes or so and the pit barrel sitting right around 340 
which is about it's a little high for the pit barrels because I, I don't have both of the uh, rods in so it's getting a little bit more um, flow of air in it than it normally would but the uh, you can see the temp of the roast is still sitting at 127 so it hasn't even climbed back up to the 134 yet so I do have some pecan wood in there that's getting smoked on so it's actually going to be turn out I think this is going to turn out pretty good as far as getting some nice smoke and getting a nice uh, some kind of crust to it because we're sitting right around 345 or so um, 345 hopefully get up to like 350 and that'll be decent to get a nice crust on it so it's been another 10 minutes and you can see the pit barrels actually getting up there it's up to 360 now it's probably got a lot to do with that other rod not being in there getting some more airflow all right so the pit barrel sitting right at one so 361 or so the meats at 138 internal so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it and see what we got these rods out of here at least one of them Go ahead and pull the meat probe out. I'm going to get this meat onto there. And give you a good look at it there. Actually it turned out pretty good looking there. It's got a nice brown all color. Right, I went ahead and let it rest for a good, uh, it's been resting for about eight minutes or so. Well, I'm cooking the rest of my dinner, so I just wanted to give you a good look at that there. Turned out pretty, pretty, pretty. Got a nice color to it. It's uh, got a nice little crust, even though it wasn't seared. And I can smell the smoke, so I know it's got a good smoke to it. I'm going to cut a little piece off so you can see that it's still pretty medium nice red on it even right here on the edge so it did get a nice good smoke hope you can see that as well as I can it's nice and red I'm taking a nice bite and I can taste the smoke it's good very tender for being in the sous vide for 48 hours so um, yeah, I can bite right through this at this big of a chunk. So it's like eating a filet. But very good. Turned out well. I like the pit barrel smoker, um, pork cooker. Uh, I did have it a little bit running a little bit hot tonight, but I did that on purpose because I wanted this to get a little bit of color to it. But um, check it out. Check out that ink bird too. The ink bird thermometer worked really well. I got a good uh, 40 feet away from it and. Um, with my phone and my iPad and it worked just great um, I've measured the temps on it before and it's pretty good so there you go folks nice um, sirloin tip roast sous vide for 48 hours at 134 and then nice some nice smoke and color on the uh, pit barrel cooker so make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram like this video subscribe and I'll see you in the next video